Stamper? Yeah, I'm Harry Stamper. How you doing? Miss Stamper, I'm Dan Truman, executive director here. Now, listen, on behalf of all of us, I'd really like to apologize. I don't know if we can take any more apologies, Mr. Truman. We've been apologized to for the last 18 and a half hours. So if you don't mind, how about if we just get on with it and you tell us why we're here at the NASA Space Center? We should probably talk alone. Mr. Truman, I don't keep any secrets from my daughter, Grace. So whether you tell her now or I tell her later, she's going to find out one way or the other. So why don't we just get on with it? So when the rogue comet hit the asteroid belt, it sent shrapnel right for us. For the next 15 days, the Earth sent a shooting gallery. Even if the asteroid itself hits the water, it's still hitting land. It'll flash boil millions of gallons of seawater and slam into the ocean bedrock. Now, if it's a Pacific Ocean impact, which we think it will be, it'll create a tidal wave three miles high, travel at 1,000 miles an hour, covering California and washing up in Denver. Japan's gone. Australia's wiped out. Half the world's population will be incinerated by the heat blast, and the rest will freeze to death from nuclear winter. This is unbelievable. Well, actually, this is as real as it gets. Well, it's coming right now, right for us at 22,000 miles an hour. Not a soul on Earth can hide from it. I take it you're not alerting everyone like this. Nobody knows. That's the way it stays. In the next 10 days, there are only nine telescopes in the world that can spot the asteroid, and we control eight of them. The president's classified this information top secret. If news like this got out, there would be an overnight breakdown of basic social services worldwide, rioting, mass religious hysteria, total chaos, you can imagine. Basically, the worst parts of the Bible. Six billion people on the planet. Why'd you guys call me? 